Part 3. Conclusion and Golden Advice Using Beetroot Intelligently So, after all is said and done, is beetroot juice a friend or a foe? The answer is, it is an extremely powerful tool, and with powerful tools, we need an instruction manual. It is not a miracle cure to be drunk indiscriminately, nor is it a poison to be completely boycotted. To maximize benefits and eliminate risks, here are the golden rules you need to follow. Moderation is key. Don't drink it every day. Treat it like a supplement. A reasonable amount is about 150 to 250 milliliters per serving and only two to three times a week. This is enough to get the benefits without overloading your body with oxalates and sugar. Don't drink it straight. Instead of drinking 100% beetroot juice, dilute it or combine it with other vegetables and fruits that are lower in sugar and oxalates, such as celery, cucumber, and green apple. This recipe both balances nutrition and reduces the load on your body. Listen to your body. If you experience any symptoms like back pain, a sign of kidney issues, dizziness, or digestive problems, stop using it immediately. Contraindicated groups. If you belong to one of the following groups, be extremely cautious and consult your doctor before use. People with a history of kidney stones, especially calcium oxalate stones, people with diabetes or prediabetes, people with low blood pressure, people taking medication for high blood pressure, and people with irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, as beetroot is high in FODMAPs. Knowledge is power. Understanding both the good and bad sides of a food helps us become wise consumers. This video is not intended to make you afraid of beetroot, but to equip you with the knowledge to use it safely and effectively.